So the spiny soft-shell turtle is listed as endangered both federally and provincially, and that uh, designation means that their numbers have dropped to a critical level where if we don't do something soon, we will lose them from the province. So our active recovery efforts have been uh, able to um, slow uh, losses down, and we're even seeing a slight upturn in, in the number of animals. Uh, but it's taken, you know, uh, over uh, two decades to do that. But just like turtles can sometimes be slow, uh, their recovery is often slow as well. We anticipate four to 5,000 hatchlings from over 300 soft-shell turtle nests, and we have about 100 nests of uh, various other species, snapping turtle, map turtle, and painted turtle, uh, that we've helped out along the way. Uh, but our focus is on the endangered spiny soft-shell turtle, uh, and it's those numbers. We need to release a large number of hatchlings in order to have a few of those reach maturity in 15 years. So it takes a long time for these animals to uh, get to the age where they can lay eggs. This is our second best year for hatchlings, so we can see that our recovery efforts are working uh, but right now it's a band-aid solution. We are uh, prolonging uh, the species in Ontario uh, and as long as we are out there uh, protecting these nests, uh, these animals are going to be um, in our environment. Uh, however, as soon as we stop, they still have the same threats. So we need to look at controlling the threats as well as uh, assisting these animals along the way until we can control those threats. So it's funny that we have a mix of drought and then a mix yep. of flooding, uh, but both of those have impacted the eggs. So if we weren't actively doing this work, we would have likely zero hatch success. Instead, because of our work, we're going to have four to 5,000 hatchlings. It's not just about turtles. It's about our ecosystem. It's about our communities. It's about our own uh, you know, health in the long term. We often try and separate ourselves from the environment. Uh, we need to embed ourselves back into that environment. Well, any cuts to uh, federal monies for endangered species or to conservation authorities uh, will mean a pretty serious issue for the work that I do and the work that many others do. Uh, and that work is not simply, uh, you know, you go into work for your nine to five and you come home with a paycheck. Uh, we put in countless hours that we never get paid for. Uh, it's often volunteer run for a, a large part of it. And the amount of work that goes into um, this kind of project is uh, a drop in the bucket in terms of money, but the output is significant for not only local uh, populations of turtles, but again, the entire ecosystem.